Hello everyone, I'm Sierra Schatz and welcome to our channel, Lustrous Locations. We are back after a few weeks. We took some vacations, took a break. So thank you everyone for showing out your support and wondering where we were. Today we are at 833 North Spalding Avenue in West Hollywood and we are very excited to show you our tour. But first and foremost, we'd love to thank the listing agents or and Shai Brodsky at the Brodsky Group at Compass for allowing us to tour their beautiful listing. So let's go check it out. This brand new modern home with a rooftop entertainer's deck is nothing short of spectacular. Built to perfection in the heart of the iconic Beverly Grove, this stunning home offers a sweeping open floor plan with five beds, five and a half baths, 4,932 square feet of living space, is on a 6,500 square foot lot, and is listed at 4,425,000. This smart home has a Control 4 home automation system that controls the lights, speakers, air conditioning, and more. There are two air conditioning zones in this property. This is truly an exceptional property for buyers of the most discerning taste. A fun fact about West Hollywood is that it's home to Fairfax High School. Demi Moore, Mickey Rooney, and David Arquette are all alumni of Fairfax High. So welcome to the front yard. You have a metal and stucco fence behind Sophie and an electric metal gate to allow your two cars in that will pull up on your driveway with some pour in place concrete and artificial grass. You have a black panel garage door and you have some cedar paneling along the side of your building with a large fixed glass window that looks into your office. And you have some more artificial grass here around your olive tree and some mature ficus trees planted for some privacy around the property. You have some lush shrubbery and we will go into the inside of the house through your 10 foot front door. We are going to come through your 10 foot wood pivot door. And we are in this landing area. I wanna point out, I love how they utilize this space. You can fit a lot of artwork here and there's a lot of artwork that the staging company used throughout the property. I wanna point out the 20 foot tray ceiling with recessed lighting and there's recessed lighting all throughout the property. So if you're playing a shot game for how many times I say recessed lighting, I won't say it too many times this episode. <laughs> so sorry about that. We also have a fixed window right here that lets in abundance of natural light that you will be able to see a view through the glass railing on the second floor. And I also want to point out that this is a property that face, faces east. So there's a dramatic change in light throughout the day. So if you see some of Safi's shots and uh, you're questioning the lighting, that's because the sun sets in the west and rises in the east. So we're on French oak wood floors right now and those are throughout the entire property and before we head to your movie theater i will give you your garage shot that some of you guys asked for and recessed lighting in here as well and you have epoxy floor finish and we will head into your custom home theater so i really like this home theater because it's blacked out but instead of just painting 
plain black walls, they at least added some detail, some square detail. You have carpet for the noise bleed, and this home theater comes with your seven reclining chairs that have LED lights. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that have LED lights in the cup holder so you can see where you're putting your drink. And you have a JVC projector, a subwoofer in the wall, surround sound, and you also have some cove lighting around the edges. We are heading into the powder room, which I wanna point out, I love the location of this powder room because it's right next to your home theater. So if guests don't wanna walk all throughout your house, at least the powder room is right here to use the restroom. So this chic powder room, which I love, has these very unique diamond shaped pendant lights. You have some wallpaper, large circular mirror, and you have this freestanding quartz vanity with an integration sink. So if you can see that it's a little sloped and instead of having a drain just in the middle, you have a linear drain right here. Looks good, huh? Looks good, Safi. <laughs> and from here, we will head into the office. This is one of my favorite offices because of all the glass and the lighting that comes in. You have floor to ceiling glass walls and door. And here is that fixed window I mentioned earlier. So if you look outside, you can see a view of the neighborhood, your front yard, and your olive tree. And would your tree survive, Safi? Be real. No, it wouldn't. No. <laughs> And although this is one of my favorite offices, it might be a little distracting just because knowing how my brother and I were to my dad while he was working and in meetings, uh, you would see your family, possibly your kids, walk by and distract you. And my brother and I would always, always bother my dad while he was on the phone in meetings because we knew he couldn't do anything. And he would always make this angry face at us that would always just crack us up. <laughs> but another reason I love this office is because it has an ensuite. And if your guests don't wanna walk upstairs and use the bathrooms upstairs, and you can't use you know, a shower in the powder room because there isn't one, at least, you have a shower in your office ensuite. So this bathroom has porcelain tile on the floor and the walls. I love that porcelain tile design in the shower regular and handheld shower head. And on this toilet, this is kind of a little unique feature. Safi didn't think much of it, but I thought this was an interesting little handle. I liked it. And you also have a quartz matte finish countertop that matches the edge on your shower. Floating vanity. And one uh, staging thing I liked about this is instead of using the circular mirror that's very in style right now, they used an octagonal mirror. You have a glass pendant light, and I also really like these handles on the soft closed drawers of the vanity. We will head into the remainder of the entry level of the house. And I want to point out that I love how they put wall sconces above areas you would display your artwork. They did a few of those throughout the property. I haven't seen those yet. And on the way to the rest of the house, I want to point out you have, oh, let's do it here. You have an elevator. It says sliding in the elevator, light wood walls, and a lot of the doors throughout the property are oak, oak panel doors. Past your glass staircase into your dining area. So one of my favorite things about this dining area is this chandelier. It's very unique, and I don't know if you've already noticed, but there aren't any wires. So I love that suspended above your table. I also like how they utilize the space for artwork. However, they could have put a mirror there to open it even more than it already is. This is a very open floor plan. And this dining area is right next to your sliding glass doors that lead to another fire pit. And this is a very large fire pit. You can fit, um, I don't know, seven people here, mount a TV here, enjoy some TV, the game, and you're on some pour in place concrete with more artificial grass. You have speakers outside, recessed lighting, and here are those ficus trees that they planted that will grow to create some more privacy from the neighbor. We're going to head back inside, and on the way to the kitchen, I wanna point out this tray ceiling design that stretches nearly from the back to the front of the house. 
you have some lighting that is hidden on the inside, some strip lighting, and you also have a lot of recessed lighting that is in a linear fashion. Very cool design. As you can see, this is a dark kitchen, and personally, I like lighter interiors just because it feels a little more open. However, they did do this right. There is a lot of light in the property throughout the day, and the sun's going down now, but instead of feeling cramped and closed in on, it still feels very open because of the rest of the interior is still light and there's the abundance of natural light. So you have a push to open fridge and freezer. Well, I opened that one, but <laughs> as you can see, Soffy drink, most of the Perrier, but we're not gonna talk about that. And you have quartz countertops and backsplash. This is a waterfall island, meaning you have space for your legs to be underneath. You have four stools right here. And I also wanna point out, I really like these glow pendant lights right here because instead of a bulb in the center, you have lighting coming down here and shooting up, which is hitting these pieces right here and kind of expands the light. You also have two sinks, one here, one there by your pocket window. I will show you it later. You have a pot filler and a built-in hood above your six burner stove griddle. And I also wanted to point out this feature of the stove that I really liked is the burners are star shaped. Usually you just kind of see the circular burners. So this is a little special. Two ovens, stainless steel Thermador appliances. So here's your microwave, your speed microwave, and your Mealy built-in coffee maker. I need that. I drink two cups of coffee each day, if not more. And here is your pocket window. So you have your backyard, we'll get to that. And you can serve your guests, you know, at the pool, the bar, through your pocket window. And I also want to point out, I love how they use the quartz all pretty much besides the window of this entire wall right here. So we're going to close your disappearing pocket doors. And what I mean by disappearing is they hide on the side so you can get a seamless look. And I wanna point out this inconspicuous dishwasher to my right. It blends in with the rest of the paneling. So it doesn't stand out, which I like. I don't like too much stainless steel in my kitchens. And we're going to head through your sliding glass doors that are nearly floor to ceiling into your backyard. We're going to come into the backyard on your faux wood truck stack. So it looks like wood, however, it's made of composite material. To my left, you have an area where you can mount your TV so you can watch the game, or this even looks like a spot for a fire pit or a shuffleboard. And on your veranda above us, you have a herringbone wood design with recessed lighting and speakers. To my right, you have your bespoke pool spa Baja shelf with stairs that lead into the remainder of your pool and tile on the outer edge. And here is that pocket window we showed you earlier. So you can pass food, drinks here to your hangout area, the bar area, which is plaster stucco. You have four stools you can place there, stainless steel grill and beverage fridge. And these are those mature ficus plants that they planted for more privacy. So we're gonna head across into the family area along the turf. And I also wanted to point out this lounge area that is across from your potential fire pit area. So you can see they didn't add trees so they can add that little spot there. And earlier when there's a lot of sunlight, there is more than ample amounts of sunlight right there. So let's head back inside. We are going to come into your family area, back onto your French oak floors. And one of my favorite things about this family area is this floor to ceiling matte marble contemporary linear fireplace. And this artwork resonated with me. I like it a lot, this abstract piece. However, if you don't want to add artwork right there, you could just mount your TV right here. And recessed lighting throughout the house. You have custom cabinets and built-in shelves with strip lighting underneath. And these are soft clothes. I also like how they utilize this space right here. They put some artwork. If you want a little more of a private experience, you could just set a little bar here, have some wine, enjoy it next to your glass wine room. And floor to ceiling glass entire room and it looks like you could fit about 35 bottles of wine maybe add five more you have some wallpaper same wood floors recessed lighting 
and wood slats on the ceiling. And I like how they added another lounge area here. However, if you want to add some plants because of all the sunlight that comes inside the house, you could do that or add some sculptures. And I wanted to point out before we head up your staircase is I love the wall designs they did throughout the property. Instead of having just plain black walls, they added some details. So we are going to head upstairs to the remainder of the bedrooms or all the bedrooms up your steel and glass railing staircase, your floating wood stairs, solid wood. You have a view of your wine room and we are going to come to the landing area. So we have left past some additional storage into the laundry room. We have a stainless steel sink, a view to the side yard and a textured quartz countertop, contemporary soft clothes cabinets and drawers and porcelain tile on the floor. And I want to point out this teardrop shaped chandelier. Safi and I both thought it looks like a teardrop. And across from it, we have a fixed window, which lets in more sunlight into your landing area. From here, we will head past the other entrance to your elevator. Wanted to point out this wall sconce again to feature your artwork. And we're going to come to our left into one of the bedrooms. So this bedroom has wall to wall, floor to ceiling storage space, recessed lighting, two windows with a view of the side yard. And you have a surfing photo behind Safi. And right when I looked at that, I totally thought of Safi because he always asked me to go surfing. I can't make it most of the time, but him and I hold competitions at who catches more waves. And by all means, I'm not good. <laughs> so anyway, all the ceiling heights on the second floor are nine feet and the first floor, they were 11 feet. You have black trim around the doorways. This ensuite has a corner vanity with oak drawers and quartz countertop. You have porcelain tile design on the wall and the floor, and you have a linear tile design here. Handheld regular shower head, and this is the only ensuite uh, besides the primary that has a bathtub. And then you also have a wall to wall shampoo niche. So a lot of space here. We will head into one of the other bedrooms. So this bedroom is the only bedroom that has a balcony besides the primary bedroom. I also want to point out that I loved these lamps. That was a little ornate dual lamp design. You also have a walk-in closet, it's dark toned. And you have double glass opening doors to your balcony with tinted black railing and tinted black glass railing. You have tile on the floor, Outdoor contemporary sconces and a seating area. However, it's too dark, so we don't want to go out there. Sophie got some drone shots. So this is my favorite on suite besides the primary because of the contrasting tones. And this is oak. This is a matte quartz textured countertop. And this is just tile. So you have tile on the wall and the floors. And this is a pretty intricate little pendant light that I also really like. And this shower, you have a stone design on the floor, which matches your wall to wall shampoo niche and a regular and handheld shower head. We will head into the last bedroom aside from the primary. So this is my favorite bedroom aside from the primary because you have this very large, nearly corner fixed window that has a view of the neighborhood and your front yard. And you have recessed lighting in here. Same with most of this floor. You have nearly floor to ceiling, soft clothes cabinet space. In this ensuite, we have tile on the floor, tile on the wall. We have this modern vanity sconce. I like that a lot. You also have quartz countertop on your floating vanity. I don't know, this looks like wood. However, I don't really know the material, so I don't want to say. And then you also have a matching edge in your shower that matches your quartz countertop right here. And I really like this circular design on the floor. Uh, I don't know what it's made of, but it's pretty cool. It matches your floor, uh, your wall to wall shampoo niche. You have a handheld and regular shower head and we will head into the primary bedroom. And here we are in the primary bedroom. So I love the ceiling in the primary bedroom. This is something I haven't seen before. You have a vaulted ceiling with an exposed wood beam and these are oak wood slats 
with recessed lighting. And this is a minor detail that I noticed, but I actually liked. So instead of using the white speakers, they use the black to keep up with the same black trim throughout the house. You have a large space here they used uh, with a painting. They put a painting. However, you could have mounted your TV there and you have an electric double-sided fireplace, meaning you can see it in your bedroom and your bathroom. And I love these simple but unique pendant lights. I haven't seen something like this. I would love to have this in my house. And you have dual but separate walk-in closets. And if I were to choose a walk-in closet, I would choose this one because it has a window. The other one doesn't. So this one has nice lighting and you have the classy black and gold color scheme. We will pass your private balcony with your black glass railing and you can mount a TV out there as well. Sliding glass doors, nearly floor to ceiling. We are going to come into your primary bathroom. So one of my favorite things about bathrooms are these floor faucets. Very large, you have a regular and a handheld faucet above your freestanding tub, which has a view through your fixed window to your backyard and the neighborhood. It's dark, so you can't tell right now. However, this is a great spot to have a plant because of that sunlight. You have recessed lighting throughout this bathroom. And I love the gold touches that they use throughout the house, especially in the primary bathroom by having dual spots you can shower so you have handheld regular shower heads and a waterfall shower head i like the square tile design on the floor and you have tile on the wall quartz bench seating tile all on this floor right here and this wall and here is a contemporary vanity I don't know, as I mentioned, if this is what or not, so I don't want to say it is. It's not, however, you have a lot of space right here, which is across from your fireplace. I don't know if you can mount a TV right here. However, I like how they use artwork. That's probably how I would leave it, you know. I don't think you need a TV in every single room of your house. <laughs> but you have a dual sinks right here, dual mirrors. And I love these three contemporary wall sconces because instead of white light, they give off a more golden warm light. And I loved this sink feature. So instead of having a drain in the center, the water drains to the outside edges of the sink. Quartz countertop, floating vanity that matches your makeup vanity. So we're going to head past your seating area through your sliding glass doors. And here's another lounge area where you can mount a TV. So this is a little more private area. So we are going to head to your rooftop deck up your spiral staircase and I like this little light they added with the wood paneling so here we are on the rooftop deck and here is a view of the Hollywood Hills so we wanted to get a nighttime shot to show you kind of what the hills looked like because we always get the same daytime shots and right here if Safi turns on his night vision <laughs> you can see a lot of palm trees so that is totally California however fun fact California is uh, not the native place of palm trees and right here we have Melrose Avenue. And because it's an avenue street, you can't see it. However, there is a lot of shopping and dining that way. So we have a contemporary fire pit right here. And we could also even put a table here where you can enjoy drinks, food, and move this to the other side. And there is a lot of space, nearly 360 degree views of the city and the neighborhood. And we have a lot of built-in bench seating here so a lot of space here where you could put that fire pit so we have contemporary sconces and that concludes our tour and as i mentioned earlier the elevator goes all the way up to the rooftop deck so i'm going to leave Sophie <laughs> and head down on the first floor <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching. That concludes our tour. If you're interested in any of Safi's camera equipment, you can find it below in the link in the description. If you're interested in this property, buying, selling, investing real estate, you can contact me through my link below. And again, thank you for all the support. Please like or subscribe, comment. It helps with our YouTube algorithm and we will do the best we can to reply to your comments. And we are excited to show you what we have next.
Alright, alright, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Action! <laughs> right when you did that, you're like, yeah. <laughs> it like looks normal, and then you turn it this side. Like, all right, all right, all right. This is why we can't ever have work. This is why we can't work together. <laughs> all right, ready? <laughs> okay. <laughs> You <laughs> bro! Hello everyone, my name is Sierra Schatz and welcome to our channel, Lustrous Locations. We have been gone for a while, so thank you everyone who has been taking notice and wondering where we are. We are back, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, ready? No, hate it, cringy. I don't like it, I'm doing it again. Let's go check it out. That was so cheesy. Let's go check it, that was so cheesy, one more. No. Okay. We are going to head